Hey everybody, I'm not feeling real great, so I'm going to stay home tomorrow. So I'm going to give you the choice of working on three different things. Now unfortunately, since I'm not here and I'm not sure who's going to be your sub, we are going to refrain from working on our mini golf courses. It's okay, we're just going to take a day off, and that's fine. No power tools, because, you know, that's life. So here's what you're going to do in my absence. One, you're going to make three new mini golf courses. And I'm going to show you how in a second. Number two, if you need to, you can take this time to work on your website. Some of your websites were fantastic. Some were not. You know who you are, right? Come on. I gave you a list of the things you need to put on your website, and a lot of it's not there. So take that time. Three, if you finish your website and you finish your mini golf courses, you know what? You can take this time to work on something else. I know you got a lot of summatives going on. I know you got a lot of things to do. Uh, but I would love to see you make some really cool golf courses first. But if you're done with everything else and you've created three new mini golf courses and you've got them on your website and you posted them and did screenshots or videos, then you can have this time. How might you make these three golf courses, you might ask? Well, let me show you. We're going to go to our friend Tinkercad. That's right. I made some new golf courses myself. So I'm going to show you how first, and then we can uh, look at some of my other designs. So Tinkercad's awesome because it's a great graphing and design software. If you've got some skill in another type of design or graphing software, that's cool. But a mini golf course, right, is a couple different things. So I'm going to make, let's say... A line here, and I'm gonna make it small, and then check this out. I can control cop, control V, control, or sorry, control C, control V. Copy and paste, baby. So I'm gonna make a crazy mini golf course. So I copied it and I pasted it again. I'm gonna make a course that's got like multiple directions. Oh yeah, check this out, boom. Boom, we got all kinds of stuff. Let's make you a little smaller. A little bit bigger up here. All right. Cool. You know what? I'm going to make a curvy line. Check this out. Because look, I can draw what I want. So I'm going to be like. Did you know you could do that? Did you know you could do that? Check this out. I'm going to make it even bigger. Boom. Let's fill this in. Fill this in. And then I'm going to also make it a little wider. So it's harder than it looks. Just scribbling around using the scribble tool so I'm creating my own shape boom and now when it's finished I press done click boom let's make you a little smaller so you match everybody else now we're gonna pull that out it kinda looks like Florida out there that's a little harder to do and that's not a great design but I can go in and I can edit it anytime I wanted if I want to make that better all right, because it is definitely not very straight. See, and it lets me scribble all through this. But enough about that. Let's go back here. Let's add another square. And I bet you're telling what's going to happen. You guys are pretty smart. Small. Let's do another one of those. So you notice I'm making liberal use of the control V. And then let's add one more cylinder down here. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making the outline. And you're about to see. So this is the outline of my first course. And then you know what? Let's see what else can we do to connect it. Polygons, torus, a tube, star, a ring. I think I'm gonna do a diamond shape. That's gonna connect these guys. Boom. And I'm gonna make it smaller. It's just big enough. So that's my course. So I did all those different things. So that's the outline of the course. So check this out. I'm gonna select the whole thing. I'm going to group it together. So I press this thing up here and that groups it. Boom. And then I can even change its color. Oh my gosh, that looks like a mini golf course. Holy cow. Now you could add some walls to it as well. But let's add some, you know, a starting point. And a finishing point. Let's say you want to put it in here. Oh yeah. Let's make that black make it a little bit smaller right you guys see what I'm doing so I'm creating a course so this is my course I'd like it if you'd add some walls to it there's some tricks there let me show you so in this design I made kind of a simpler course with Pikachu and I made some walls so see this part down here you can move around I made that and then I made the walls I grouped everybody together I put an obstacle on here. This other design, I did this, and see what I did is I made the walls, and I made the course itself. Now how I did that was a little more complicated. So I'm going to show you kind of how to do that, but not really. So I'm going to select this, and then I command C, I copy it, and then I paste it. It gives me another copy. Right, so I wish I could make this just a tiny bit smaller. Boop. Boop. And I can put it in the middle. Kinda, kinda. And then I could like make that a different color make it just and then look at this see there's the outside part everybody see that let's make that taller oh no it's like so check it out it's like walls on it now looking pretty good or I can take the other one make it bigger Make it smaller. So you guys get the idea, right? And if not, and if you don't understand what I'm talking about, that's okay. I totally get you. Um, I'm going to include a video that kind of shows you how to do that in a slightly better way than what I'm doing now. Because what I'm doing now is not great. There we go. Kind of. So that kind of gives you some walls. But it's not good. But don't worry, because I'm going to link a YouTube video that shows a better way. So now I want you to also add some obstacles. Right? I want you to make themes this course. Hazards. Remember that? We go to our thing, Thingiverse. And we go there and we search. Let's make a themed course. Um, what shall we make? Let's do Super Mario. Let's make a Super Mario course. Look at all this cool stuff. We got ghosts, we got stars, we got question marks, fire plants, marshmallows, Mario. Oh my gosh, so many endless things. So I'm going to take one of these designs. Let's do the boo. I'm going to click on boo. And what's cool is it lets me download that plan. So I'm going to download that file. And it says downloading files in three, two, one. Boom. And then it pops up down here. And it's going to show me on Finder. So I'm going to show in Finder. Now remember, when you download these in Finder, it gives you a zip file. Everybody can see that? 
So I double click the zip and that unzips it. And that's gonna open Boo from Mario Games. So I double click there again, files. Hey, there we go. Teeth, tongue, that is not body. Oh my gosh, I thought you'd be all together. Lame, that's lame. I don't wanna use that. Weak. Let's find something better. How about Pickle do Mario, Pickle do Chain Chomp. Let's do something simple. Let's do the marshmallow. Or the marshmallow. The mushroom. Why would I even say that? You guys, I'm tired. It's clearly not feeling great. So I'm downloading it. Oh, it's trying to get me to buy a PlayS5. That'd be pretty sweet. So now I downloaded Super Mario Mushroom. I go show in Finder. Remember, it shows me a zip. I unzip it, click, and it gives me Super Mario Mushroom 1-Up. And I click on that, 1-Up Mushrooms STL. Cool, that looks good. So what I usually do is I take these and I put them on my desktop. So boom, I got my Super Mario Mushroom right there. I'm going to go back to Tinkercad. And I am going to import. So I click import, choose a file. I'm going to click that. Let's do... 1-Up Mushroom, and you know what, let's do a Pikachu too. So I click that, and I say open, and it opens, and ta-da, I got a little Pikachu. I can make him a hazard on my course too. Let's make him yellow, because he's Pikachu. Let's make him a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, and we'll say Pikachu, you're right here. We want to raise him up so he's like on top of the golf course. Boom. Let's import that mushroom too. Choose a file, one up mushroom, double click, import. Let's see. There we go. Looks good. Right? Maybe that'll go right here. Maybe let's add the hole. Right there. Yeah, let's change that to black. Make it a little smaller. Pikachu's maybe guarding that hole. Let's make a starting area. Let's say you gotta start over here. So that's where they start from. Let's make it white so people know it. So there you go. So this is the start of my mini golf. Yours should look better than this, because that's not that good. Here's another example. Super simple. Not that great. How could I make this better? Here's a third example. This one's actually pretty good, but I could still make it a lot better. I like the walls. If you're curious about making walls, it's pretty easy. Uh, you could just make the green part first, which is what I did. And then I just made those red walls around the outside of it. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to make three of these. I want you to take screenshots of them or even a short video where you kind of walk me through the course, tell me what inspired you, what theme does this follow, would it be fun, would it be easy, and feel like you can go crazy, right? Do whatever you want, do loop-de-loops, look at all these crazy designs you got. You got ramps, you got pyramids, you got, a, I could put a wedge in here, let's do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna put a wedge, we're gonna say you can do that, we're gonna make it a little shorter, maybe longer, Right? I can do a bazillion different things. I had all this stuff. Tinkercad's a lot more complex than you think. If I click on this, I got numbers. I got characters. Let's see what's in characters. Look at this. I can put scuba mask, snorkel, shades. I could put a robot in there, some eggs. Oh my gosh, you could totally have like a chicken course. It could be a giant face. Um, whatever you want. Right? Text and numbers. You could write texts. So it's up to you. I want you to go crazy and make me three really cool, neat looking mini golf courses in Tinkercad. And, you know, it's kind of a cool introduction to drafting software. So, good luck. Remember, fix your website if you need to. Make me three mini golf courses in Tinkercad. And then, you know, we'll go from there. Alright, you guys. Have a good one tomorrow.